Hello everyone. As I promised, I'm back with a video uh, where I'll tell you about the interview experience for different product based companies for Salesforce role. So let's start. So first the introduction. So this is based on my experience giving interviews for the different product based companies for Salesforce role. So the different roles that I had given for the interview for was software engineer, Salesforce, application engineer, Salesforce. So my interview is based on these uh, interview experiences for these roles. The video only talks about the different rounds and important topics for each round and not the actual questions that I faced in this round. The pattern might differ for different companies, but I'm trying to give a general way like how uh, what type of rounds are there in product based companies for Salesforce roles. So round number one data structures and algorithms so as a Salesforce developer, we don't use DSA much, but uh, I've, what I've seen is like the product based companies take DSA as the first round to filter out the candidates candidates after filtering move those candidates to the other round. So the topics mostly revolve around. So DSA is a uh, so DSA is a vast topic, and uh, there are a lot of uh, different data structures present. But what I've seen is like mostly the topics revolve around arrays manipulation, string manipulation, stacks, queue, binary search, etc. Apart from that, we have other data structures like graphs, uh, trees, linked lists that may be out of scope for a Salesforce specific round. So you can check out my data structures in Apex series, which uh, I think would be really helpful if you are preparation for your preparation. Apart from that, lead code is a great pl platform to practice for DSA questions. Now, round number two, round number two is the Salesforce coding round. So since you would be giving a Salesforce specific inter interview, so round number two would be a Salesforce specific round. This coding round would revolve around checking your Apex and LWC, LWC skills. In LWC, they'll check whether you are uh, okay with JavaScript, you are good to write, you know about different JavaScript methods and able to write the JavaScript code. In Apex, basically the Apex triggers, asynchronous Apex, etc. So pseudo code will not work and you will have to write the full code. So apart from that, what I've seen is some companies allows uh, IDs for these rounds like VS code, while others don't allow it and they want you to write the code in notepad. Round number three. Round number three is the Salesforce low level design round or the application design round. So low level design basically goes deep into the actual implementation part and this uh, phase comes after the high level design and before the actual implementation. Uh, when I say low level design, basically it's like you are on the implementation part with the low level design. You have in your mind the different components that you are going to use according to the Salesforce best, best practices that can be Apex classes that can be flows, triggers, etc. Uh, so you uh, in this specific round, what I've seen is like companies ask for scenario based questions related to the Salesforce domain and you would have to provide the best possible solution according to the Salesforce best practices. For example, uh, some example questions I can say is like if you want to process a large number of records, what would be the best solution in Salesforce? Would it be a batch Apex? Would it be a flow, etc.? cetera? Uh, would it be a flow? Uh, you want to share a record when some field is changed. What would be the best solution? Would it be criteria based sharing rules? Would it be an apex managed uh, sharing? So you have to determine that like these uh, and uh, let's say that you want to validate a phone number field for any object. How to how would you do it? So it would be it would have to be a generic code. You can use regular expression to uh, to validate a phone number and uh, you can store it in a custom metadata. Let's say then like write a generic code using apex using a right and using the s object class uh, make it work for each object uh, these type of questions might be asked in the salesforce low level design what is salesforce high level design the round number four is the salesforce high level design or the system integration round so high level design is basically the initial architecture design phase in any software engineering project where the overall structure and the components of the system are defined on a high level. Uh, let's say in the high level design interview, you won't have to go uh, into the details, uh, like what all components, what type of components you'll use, but you will have to, on a high level, you have to provide the best possible solution. Uh, let's say like um, 
defining the data model and uh, if there are any uh, external systems what would be the best api to integrate those systems so i have also given some examples here like you are given a problem statement about a company xyz which wants to get onboarded into salesforce and they are currently managing their data in excel sheets so the first step would be to define the data model what type of objects will be required so would custom objects be enough or you would need big objects or external objects so big objects if you don't know is like if you need hundreds and millions of record to be stored so big objects are the thing for you and if uh, like let uh, if you don't want to store the data in salesforce then you can use external objects external objects and then like uh, manipulate them in salesforce then you will have to you can be asked like how would you be uh, how then you have to think about how data would be loaded in the system does it require any integrations from the external system uh, if you require integrations let's say from sap from mulesoft like what would be the best api protocol to use it would it be rest would it be soap would it be pubsub api streaming api you'll have to like think about that i have created specific playlists for these apis you can check that out you are also have to think the uh, the load on the system like what type of users would log into the system would there be any times the there would be load on the systems licenses you have to think about the licenses now uh let's say after you get all the data uh, into the system now uh you have to show uh you have to create a page to show the customer 360 view uh to the end user you can you have to think about like what would be the best framework for, for it would it be lwc would it be aura uh, and uh, let's say some of the data uh is common between multiple pages so you have to think can we can you use caching like instead of making the api call or uh instead of fetching the data again can you use caching so these type of questions uh you can be asked in the salesforce high level design round the fifth round is the hiring manager or the leadership round after you have cleared all the technical rounds uh this is usually the last round that is conducted by the product based companies this uh intervals around the behavioral check whether you are able to adapt to the company's culture so for the product based companies uh their culture is a really important thing and even if you have cleared the technical rounds they will take this interview they'll check whether you would be able to adapt to their culture and react to certain situations etc so some questions they might ask are uh, like tell me about a time when you faced a difficult situation at work and how you handled it how do you prioritize tasks and manage your time effectively how do you handle constructive feedback so based on the response you give for these uh on these questions the hiring manager would judge uh your culture your uh adaptability etc so these were the five rounds uh usually are asked in the product based companies for salesforce role hope you like this video and all the best if you're uh, prep for your preparation if you're preparing for salesforce interviews and thanks everyone for watching this video do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone